Starting from the fifth spot, we have Lande Gray. He has always been one of the most skilled players since he switched into tablet in 2016. He is most known for being one of the most consistent tournament players in Indonesia, being able to do most maps with high accuracy and proceeding to give satisfying results in matches, making him second place in Southeast Asia Royal Rumble Tournament and Osu Indonesia Tournament 2017. More into his scores, he is able to set very impressive high accuracy plays such as a 99.50% normal FC on Tomei LG for 483 PP, a hidden double time SS on change for 500 PP, and a 99.77% hidden double time FC on Sahuang's map set of best friends for 502 PP. Just recently, he has changed his setup and moved places for university purposes. He will not be playing as much looking at his grey name in the leaderboards, but only time can tell. Who knows, maybe he will be back and become better than ever. He absolutely deserves to be the top 5 gatekeeper in the country. Getting into the fourth spot, the youngest of all the, of the players in this video. You probably already know him because he has so many plays uploaded in Circle People. Lloyd Kun is most known for his monstrous high BPM aim, and especially his ability of absolutely destroying dead streams of 280 BPM. Apart from passing most of the hardest playable maps in the game, such as Illness Lilin which only has two other pass by Red Pixel and Infamous, and this map which is 9.48 stars. He is also able to set insane full combos such as a hidden FC on Halcyon 1 Dimension difficulty, awarding him a tremendous 571 PP score, and a hidden double time FC on DMC for 511 PP. He also acquires a very all-rounded skill set after learning to alternate, being able to play every single mod combination in the game. In addition, his tournament skills don't fall short either. Back in early 2018, he has managed to win the second spot of Osu Indonesia tournament, only losing again in SMH. For all these reasons, Oitkun definitely deserved the fourth spot on this list. To the third spot, we have Reuza, who is probably the most recognized player across Indonesia because of his controversial top performance and how he often leads stream back in 2017. From setting Indonesia's first 500pp score, a choke on Senden Life nostalgia difficulty with Hidden, 
he was able to show how he could dominate everyone else in the country. Ever since, he rapidly climbed ranks and also got the first 600 PP score in Indonesia, a hidden double time FC on Getjing's master difficulty, also being the first 8 star ranked FC in the country, awarding him 694 PP, which was later then nerfed to 652 PP. His tournament skill set does not fall short either, serving as the main carry on OWC 2016 against Netherlands, FCing the tiebreaker and winning the 2017 Osu Indonesia tournament. Unfortunately, we will not be able to see him at his fullest anymore due to his university studies. However, he will still be playing, just not as much as before and on a different setup even though with it, he already set a 611 PP play on first storm with hard rock. Reyuza is definitely one of Indonesia's first best performing players and he absolutely deserves the third spot on this list. And now moving on to the second spot, we have Skydiver. This player is known most for his hidden double time farming abilities, but also being able to set scores on various mod combinations, except hidden only. He has shown the country that he is also able to set insane scores like all the other players on this list, with scores such as hidden double time FC on the 8.13 star map Santa San awarding him his top play of 620 pp and a hidden double time fc on the 8 star hime hime for 567 pp despite his rather farmy scores he is able to set impressive hard rock fc's such as his 99.81% fc on if you can't hang for 551 pp and a 95% fc on pono shiomi yoriki koyu for only 512 pp he is also decently able to play tournaments, winning the 5th spot in the first iteration of Osu Southeast Asian Tournament and Osu Dual York Cup where he was in a duo with Huma. He is able to show his promising performance to the country and therefore deserves the 2nd spot in this list.
So on the top of this list we have SMH. This player is arguably the best in the country, often compared as the Kukizi counterpart of Indonesia. Using his only laptop, he managed to set some of the best scores Indonesia has ever seen, such as a Hard Rock FC on Pono's map set of Yomiyori Kikoyu for 6-1-1 PP, one of the few Hard Rock FCs on this map for 6-30 PP, a hidden Hard Rock FC on First Storm being the highest PP play in Indonesia currently, sitting at 6-5-4 PP, the second best hard drop double time score on this map for 578 PP, just below Matrix, which is the only FC, and the list continues. In addition to that, he's able to set a bunch of number one scores on various types of maps with various mod combinations. Not only is he the best at setting scores though, he's also widely considered as the best tournament player in Indonesia, with three tournament badges for his victories under his belt, including the Happy Stick Summer Tour and the 2016 and 2018 iteration of OS Indonesia Tournament. We can expect even more from him as he has the highest potential of being a globally noticed player in the game and for these reasons we proudly honor him at the number one spot on this list.